Hi, welcome back. In previous video, we have created a REST API called Get Students REST API, which returns a list of students to the client. In this video, we are going to create one more REST API which will handle a path variable in a request. For example, sometime the request can be something like this, right? So let me quickly write the comment over here. Localhost 8080 slash student slash and then id okay id can be for example one or two or three all right so this is nothing but a path variable okay and we are going to write a rest api which will handle this path variable for example the path variable can be a integer or a string etc so in this example we are going to you know get a path variable as student first name and student last name for example student first name something like this student slash Ramesh Ramesh is nothing but a path variable here and we can also provide multiple path variables inside a URL for example Ramesh slash Padutari okay so when client sends a request with this URL and in this URL we can see Ramesh and Fadatari. So these are the two path variables. Now let's write a REST API which will bind this, you know, uh, bind the value of this path variable in our method. Now let's write a REST API which will handle this kind of request. Okay, so I'm going to write a method here, public. And this method returns a student object and the method name is let's say student path variable okay and this method returns new student object all right and we are going to pass two parameters for this method for example string first name and then string last name okay all right and here we pass first name comma last name it's pretty simple method okay student path variable you can give any uh, method name that you want I just uh, keep this method name as a convenient for this example and this method takes first name last name as a method argument and this method simply returns object of the student with first name and last name now let's annotate this method with at get mapping annotation okay and here within a curly braces let's give a URI template variable name as a first name and after that slash one more variable name that is last name so this is called URI template variable now what we have done we have annotated this method with add get mapping annotation and we have added these two URI you know template path variable so when request when a request comes from the client the request something like this student slash Ramesh slash Fadatari Ramesh value is stored in first name so this is the URI template path variable and last name is also a URI template path variable Ramesh value is stored in first name Fadatari value is stored in last name and we need to bind the value of this URL template path variable to the method argument that is first name similarly we need to bind a value of last name template path variable to last name method argument so in order to bind the value of these two template path variable to method arguments we need to use add path variable annotation so this is very important guys add path variable annotation so we use add path variable annotation to bind 
the value of you know URI template path variable to method argument or method variable okay let's use here add path variable annotation okay and in order to map the names we need to pass here the name for example if this first name and this name is different then we need to map here something like this and this name can be different okay first name let's say first name one all right so this first name this first name can be different but in order to map these two variables then we need to you know pass exact name here similarly let's use add path variable annotation here and again we need to pass the value last name okay great so this is how we create a rest api which will handle the path variable okay so we simply within a curly braces we define the uri template path variable and we use add path variable annotation to bind the value of uri you know template path variable to method argument okay just remember the use of add path variable annotation this is very important and uh, we frequently use this kind of request uh, in our real time projects okay so this is the uh, you know this kind of rest api urls uh, you can see in a real time projects okay client uses this kind of urls and uh, we need to write a rest api to handle this kind of urls okay for example let's say localhost 8080 student and you can pass one here so one is nothing but your id okay we, write, we need to write a rest api which returns a student with id one all right in real time project you can see the rest api url something like this slash one one is nothing but your path variable and we need to access the value that is a one uh, in our java method by using add path variable annotation all right now let's go ahead and let's run our spring boot application and let's see how it works let me stop the server and uh, let me run our Spring Boot application. Okay, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Let's head over to browser and just type localhost 8080. All right, and after that, Ramesh, after that, Fadatari. Hit enter, and there we go. First name Ramesh, last name Fadatari. And we can provide a student uh, here as well. So let me quickly change the REST API. So here we can define slash student slash and then first name, last name as a URI template variable. So let me quickly stop the server and let me quickly run the Spring Boot application again. Okay, perfect. Our Spring Boot application is up and running. Let's head over to browser and here we need to provide student as a base uh, URI string and then after that this is a path variable Ramesh and Padatar is also path slash Padatar is a path variable. Okay, you can give any value here. For example, let's say Ram slash Jado. Hit enter, you can see here response is first name is a Ram, last name is a Jadav. So we have created REST API which will dynamically return student object. We can give like one slash two. Okay, first name one, last name two. All right, so this is how we write a REST API to handle the requests like this. The request contains a path variable like path variable like one or two and we can Okay, we can write a REST API to handle any number of path variables in a request. For example, in this example, we have handled two path variables. Similarly, we can handle uh, three path variables. For example, we can define something like this. Let's say if student uh, has a age, then we can 
right a URI path like this okay all right so let me summarize what we have done we have created a method which returns student object uh, with first name last name and uh, we have annotated this method with add get mapping annotation which contains first name last name as a you know template path variable and we have used add path variable annotation to bind a template URI path variable value to the method argument okay great in next video what we'll do we'll see how to how to write a rest api uh, to handle a request parameters or a request query parameters okay great i will see you in next video